Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. Today's video, we got another mobile mechanic work day. This was supposed to be quick. Got a call, guy traveling from Texas to Pennsylvania, broke down here in Ohio. Said he already replaced the alternator I and mean, whatever else he needed. He just can't get the serpentine belt on. So I was like, okay, brother. My minimum to come out is a one hour charge. My one hour charge is bumped up from $60 when I started up to 100 and now I'm up to $120 an hour. So if you guys want to learn how to do a serpentine belt replacement on a 2013 Chrysler 200 2.4 liter, well then stay tuned because we're starting right now. All right, guys, we're on scene. Just talked to the owner. 2013 Chrysler 200. Said it is the serpentine belt, and that's what he wants done. He is a mechanic. He didn't have much tools, though, but he did get his own alternator replaced. It's a 15 millimeter, and that's the belt tensioner right here, it looks like. We're down there, one of the two. Maybe we'll jack it up and go from that way. That way you guys can see it a little bit better. So where he was working at it, he already had it <laughs> loosened up and jacked up, actually. So... That works out great for me. I'm using a 19, but actually, I think it's a 20 or 21 that it goes on it. But I did not have that on me. <laughs> and let's see what we're working with. First step is put it over here, right? We're going to make this pulley right here. That's going to be our last one. Anytime you have a pulley that's smooth like this, you want to try to make that one your last one that you put your belt on. Because it's a lot easier to get it slid up on the one that's smooth than the ones like this. When you're putting it on, if the last one is the one with the ribs, you got to go over the lip, get it on like that. Well, a lot of times this thing's barely fitting when you're putting these belts on. So it's a lot easier. It's like a pulley like this where you can slide it underneath or over top it. So first we're going to go over the power steering pulley. So I'm going to take this outside one here. Let's see if we can see it there. See, we just let it right over it like that. All right, that's step two. Now step three, we're going to go and pull it over the alternator. So let's drop down underneath the car. All right, so we got it over the alternator. We just bring it down here around the AC, just like so. Run it all the way over here to the crank. Just slide it on. Little thing on top of the pulley here that you gotta go under. Little notch right there keeps the belt on. All right, once we run it over the crank, sorry, it's hard to hear, I'm fucking sick. We're gonna slide it over this pulley starting to come together now but we got it routed that was everything the last step was this one right here that's what we wanted what we used this time was uh let's see where they at crow's feet that's why these crow's feet it just spins how it's made out right there you can go on like that you would put it and it would go over like this just like that got a 16 millimeter crow's foot yeah. maybe it's like that we got a crow's foot on there like that got enough room where we can just slide it on now like that perfect now we can let go of our little contraption we got going on here come back down slow there we go well family that concludes putting a serpentine belt on this 2013 chrysler 200 2.4 liter took us about 25 minutes i had to reroute it I was awful when I was trying to do it without the actual belt diagram. Thought I knew it, and I realized, no, I was way off. So I had to look it up like an amateur. But we got it done, 120 bucks, less than an hour. Uh, but it is like a 20-minute drive home, so maybe an hour and a half total from the time I left to the time I'm home. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We're trying to get to 15,000, and we're like at 12,800, man. So we got to pick it up, please. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. But what will cost you is if you support this channel. <laughs> you like that little segue I had there? So what I'll do is I'll have my cash app and PayPal up here on the screen. Also, it'll be down in the video descriptions with some other links. You don't have to donate anything. But if you own a Chrysler 200 and I just helped you out and saved you 120 bucks, maybe drop $5 in there, you know. But if you don't, I still love you. And like we always say, Semper Fi, till next time.